recently I've been reviewing for the FLT more than I've been actually flying, so I did what anyone with a grip making addiction would do, and I made my own ATU. But like my other flight sticks, I designed the ATU in SolidWorks. The grip has the exact same controls that it does in real life. It has a dual stage trigger, an offset button at the top, an MRL button on the right hand side, and finally an analog axis for controlling the radar elevation. Since starting to design these flight sticks, I've learned a lot about using SolidWorks and I've developed a technique that enables it to make very accurate shapes, very close to the real thing. And I'm looking forward to applying this technique to other projects in the future. Right now I'm planning to do a MiG-29 stick, a Kyoto stick and perhaps some others. I've also done a little bit of work on my free gimbal base, making it physically compatible with the Thrustmaster Warthog and Verbal bases, meaning that any grip that will work on my base will also work on those. I've also done the same update for my F-14 grip, meaning it is now mechanically compatible with the Thrustmaster Warthog and Verbal bases. Electrically it's also pretty easy to make it compatible as it uses the same connector and shear fetishes, but I expect to see a video about this in the future. The F-14 stick and the ATU mentioned in this video will now be available for purchase on my Call 3D page for what I think is a very fair price considering the amount of work that goes into making these. I'll put a link to this page in the description below. Another project of mine, the F-14 campaign I've been working on, has been progressing nicely. I'm now in the face of looking for voice actors and I've already managed to find some people that were gracious enough to offer me a hand. If you feel like you can be a help in this regard, feel free to contact me via Discord. But for now that's all. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.